creating and transferring AVC H.264 files for the PS3. The PS3 is a very capable media center device. Unfortunately, it is very picky about the types of files that it will accept. Not necessarily the encode, but about the header information for each of those files. It tends to have a preference for files that have been authored by QuickTime. Your files, though, do not have to be authored by QuickTime. They can be encoded uh, by any application out there, open source or shareware. They just need to conform to the AVC H.264 standard or BMPEG-4 files. Uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to add the proper header information for these encoded files so that your PS3 will see it. In this case, we will take a file that was created by Handbrake and we will go ahead and open it up in QuickTime Pro. We will just do a save as operation which will change it into the .mob container. Once it is in this container we can now basically bring it back to mp4 format. When you do a .mob container change you're not actually re-encoding the movie. Uh, you're just changing the container. So that's why the operation was very quick. Uh, so what we'll do now though is we're going to go ahead and bring it back to QuickTimes.mp4 container format. So we'll export the file out and we'll choose MPEG4. We'll select the options and we'll go ahead and we'll go through the different tabs and make sure that one MP4 is selected uh, for video, we will make sure that pass-through is selected because we're not going to be doing any transcoding. We will choose audio. We will also do pass-through. And for streaming, we will make sure that enable streaming is checked off. Once you have made all those setting changes, uh, we will go ahead and uh, rename the file a bit uh, so that we don't overwrite our original file. And we will click uh, the Save button. This will export the file back out into MP4. Uh, once again, there is actually no transcoding being done on this file. So now we have essentially have created a file called topworld2-ps3.mp4, which is now recognizable by the PS3. Uh, to show the theory behind the header information, we will go ahead and select both of these files and we will open them up in a text editor. Um, we'll go ahead and basically show the header file differences between both of the files. For the very top file, and I will highlight this in just a bit, uh, you can see right away that it is essentially created by or was encoded by the X264 encoder, uh, which is an open source library from the videoland.org uh, project. Uh, and we highlighted the other file, and as you saw, it was Apple Video Handler. Transferring files to the PS3, uh, that is also requires a bit of uh, trickery to make sure that the PS3 can recognize uh, the files that you created. Uh, the most important thing, uh, in this case we're going to be connecting a USB drive to the PS3, is that within the, PS, the USB drive you create a video folder at the top directory. Once you have this video folder you will drop in the files that you would like your PS3 to play. Once they are there, it's all good. As a bonus chapter, we're going to look at how to create uh, H.264 files for the PS3 and the latest iPod 5.5 generation. We will essentially be creating 480p files, um, which is something that the iPod, the newer iPod firmware can accept. Uh, we will be using the open source application Handbrake. This is actually a special uh, alpha version of Handbrake. Uh, and which outputs in uh, baseline level 3, which is what the new iPod firmware will accept. Uh, in this case, we're just going to be uh, selecting just the intro for uh, this DVD. We will make sure that H.264 baseline iPod is selected. 
uh, will choose uh, 1500 uh, kilobits per second and in picture settings we will make sure that 640 uh, is the maximum uh, for this file otherwise the iPod won't accept it. In either case uh, once you do this you will have basically a file that will look play well on your computer uh, play well on your iPod and play well on your PS3. For more handbrake information, please visit handbrake.dynalias.com.